Greetings ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing good. This video is about painting a foam stone wall, which I make for a terrain article on Patreon. The wall is made from single piece of XPS Dyrodo foam. And the bricks pattern are engraved with a pencil. All details about this technique and three different ways of making walls from foam are illustrated in the PDF. Start with a priming layer of a very dark neutral grey. Add a tiny pinch of speckling compound to make the paint less reflective. Apply a first layer of black wash to bring out contrast. The base gets primed with raw umber, which is an earthy darkish brown tone. That one also gets washed with black. Time to paint a few stones in different colors. A brown wash works well. You can also paint a few bricks in brighter shades of grey. A wash of dark brownish ochre helps to bring everything together. Time to pick up some highlights by dry brushing with a slightly brighter grey. You can add a few grey dry brushing layers. Get brighter layer by layer. Normally two or three layers are enough to achieve effective results. You can use white to make your grey brighter, but beige looks more realistic and less artificial. Time to mix the flocking glue. Water plus wood glue plus a drop of green paint plus a pinch of fine turf blend. Brush it on. Push in pieces of clump foliage and sprinkle it with fine turf material. Let it dry completely and then fleck it with a light greenish wash. Plus a little sprinkle of extra fine turf. More green wash to symbolize potential wet areas on the stone wall. Finally, a decent dry brushing with bright beige brings the paint job really to life. I decided to apply a little bit more of brown wash at the foot of the wall to create a smooth transition between soil and wall. Last but not least, the soil gets dry brushed with raw umber. Generally, I prefer quite highlights when I paint soil. That's it. This is one way to paint a foam stone wall. You can add more layers and make it more fancy, or skip a few steps and fasten up the painting process. If you like this kind of content, Make sure you ring the bell and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to keep this terrain train rolling, check out the links in the description below. Follow on Instagram, like on Facebook or become a patron. Link, like and share. There is a list on tabletopterrainlenny.com where I recommend tools and materials for terrain modeling. This is an easy way to support the channel. If you have any questions or critics, drop a comment. Thank you and keep on making terrain.